Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm bringing you another video, this time in the Kranwagen. I've been playing a lot recently. Um, before I get into this video, I just say, um, someone in the comments from one of my previous videos brought up the fact there is a humming sound coming from my microphone. Um, and I appreciate you just telling me that. If you see any problems in my videos, please feel free to let me know. Unfortunately, there's just nothing I can do about it yet, because I can't afford a new microphone for probably till next month. Um, so, I apologise about the humming sound, uh, but there's nothing I can do about it till next month, and I didn't want to just leave you without any videos, so I'm just going to do the videos anyway. If the humming gets too bad, just let me know, and I will just hold all the videos on, um, in storage until I get a new microphone, then I'll just uh, get all the videos out for you. But hopefully the humming won't be too bad. So I'm platooned with Spandex and Felix. Um, I'm in the Cram Wagon, as I said before. Love this tank. Fast, good gun depressing, excellent turret armor, autoloader. And for those of you who are more keen-eyed than me, you may have noticed that I have a heat clip loaded right from the start, and I have no idea why. I think I must have accidentally pressed X as I was loading into the game, or as I was as the countdown timer was happening. And I accidentally loaded the heat clip, and I'm not going to realise until I fire my first shot that it is a heat clip, and I see the um, the white shell. I'm going to pop up. There's an IS-7. I've got lower plate, and right there is when I know I've got the heat clip loaded. Try a second shot, and I'm just going to reload back to the APCR clip. So this game, they have an artillery, which I have to be wary of. Um, so I'm trying to stay in the move when I'm spotted. Not that hard a thing to do in a cram bargain, because as I said before, this is a very fast heavy tank, especially when you get a little bit of downhill momentum. Because I see on the map here, there's someone behind me on the mini-map. I just need 100. So using the cram bargain speed, and this downhill bit, you'll see... I'm going to avoid his shot by hitting almost 50 going down the hill. And now that I'm above him, there's nothing he can do. He just fired and bounced off Felix, so I'm going to put shots into his lower plate. And then eventually I'm going to notice that the angle is too great and I probably won't be able to pan it. So I just ignore his lower plate and I go for the track. Because Neo 100's lower plate is actually quite difficult to pan. And you'll have probably noticed it for any of you who have fought against Neo 100s, that there'll be times where you'll shoot an E100 with a tier 10 tank destroyer into a lower plate and you'll bounce if he's like slightly angled. And Definitely, definitely, if you're above any 100, don't bother shooting the lower plate. I'm going to come back up, waiting for the reload, just trying to stay hold down so the i7 can pan me. One shot in the hem. I'm going to take a shot from the E50. I'm tracked here, and I'm, just, I'm thinking, I'm not going to repair, I'm just going to wait it out, because they can't pan me. Unfortunately, they don't need to pan me. Because they have an artillery who does about a thousand damage to me. And now I'm basically a one-shot to almost everyone left on the enemy team. So that sucks. Um, but such is the way of artillery. However, what you've got to do is at this point is not get too disheartened. Because I'm at 3,000 damage at the moment and 500 assistance. And now I'm not liking the look of this game. I'm on low health. I'm a one-shot. Our team's getting racked. So what I've decided is, even though I only have 320 health and your artillery has ruined me, I've got terrible view range now because my viewport's broken as well, and as well as breaking my gun, and I chose to fix my gun instead of the viewport, I've decided I can still get a good game out of this. So what you're going to see is, I kind of changed my playstyle, and what I do is, I will play to try and win, obviously. But there comes a certain point where I think, okay, there's not too much I can do now because of a certain situation, because maybe they have too many tanks left, or I'm a one-shot, and the map isn't ideal for me to try and run around and use camouflage and everything. Now, I'm just going for a good game at this point. I don't care about the win. And that's why I'm over where I'm at, because I came over here because the T-57 Heavy was spotted over here when he killed the artillery. There he is. And now I can get a nice clip into him. See, I'm going to go for the tracks. Double track. He repairs. And I managed to sneak that last shell in. I'm using this rock right now because I'm spotted, and I'm trying to keep the rock between me and the general direction the artillery was at when he shot me earlier. 
not that matters, because if he hits to the left or right of the rock, even without hitting me, he can probably kill me. So the chieftain's over there, he just misses me. I'm going to try and spot him again, but obviously, uh, my viewfinder is actually broken at the moment, so I don't have any view range. And I'm going to try and duck down to this hill, where, again, I can go hull down. At this point, I'm, I've realised I'm only probably going to get one more magazine out before I die. So this hill right here, next to the bunker, I'm just going to try and get as many shots as I can. One into the Chieftain. I'm going to wait for the Project home. Get backing up to try and stay hold on as possible. And as I'm following him round, I miss a shot, but I pay attention to my map, and I see the Chieftain is the most immediate threat next. So I try and auto-lock him. But unfortunately that hill gets in the way because I used the auto-lock feature. Basically this game was an alright game result-wise for me, but basically it's getting to the position where you realise there's not too much more you can do. Play for yourself a little bit. Because I tried to win the game, I was at the hill, I lost my health to the artillery, broken gun, broken viewfinder. And despite all that, I didn't just give up. And I was able to get myself from 3k damage up to 5k damage, so I got an extra 2000 damage by still playing the game. So. It can suck when you get rt or a big hit hits you and you're nearly dead, but just keep playing and you can still pull a decent result from it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.